let me tell you something. If you got family members in the Tennessee area or the Georgia area or the South Carolina area, I need you to send them this video right here because I'm finna forewarn them. They about to let y'all back outside. They about to open up the country with no cure for COVID-19. They don't got the proper testing for COVID-19. All I know is I be looking on my TV screen and I see CNN, Fox News, and MSNBC and all my local news stations. I see death toll and I see population control and I see how many cases. Them are numbers. Them are fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, grandmas, grandpas, aunties, and uncles that's dying. Real people dying in them deaths. All them numbers you seeing that's flowing like that, them ain't just numbers, them deaths, bro. And if they finna open up the country in the black market, aka we the guinea pigs, aka we the lab rats, let's test the blacks. If Atlanta don't catch it, if Memphis, Tennessee don't catch it, if South Carolina don't catch it, then we'll let all the population out. See, what you gotta understand, this state's like Wyoming. In states like Montana, in states like Idaho and North Dakota and South Dakota that ain't had really no cases, but they ain't let them outside yet. And they ain't really got no cases, so why they testing these black markets? You know why? Because they gonna test the niggas, and you will be a fool not to sit your ass down still and, to, and chill for a little bit until it's safe to go outside. When you see the goddamn president back out here traveling, that when you get your ass back out here outside for real. When you see the president out here going on by his day like he used to that's when you get out here follow them and follow the money man listen man they don't got no cure for this shit they ain't got the proper testing for this shit all they got for this shit dog is advice that you see on the news and you can't even trust them dog because they playing off your field please be advised to sit your ass down and what you got to understand is this man some of us had COVID-19 but yet we escaped it because God did his job. Some of us was infected with COVID-19 and we ain't even know. We ain't show a system. We ain't do a call. We ain't do nothing. You know why? Because it wasn't your time yet. God did his job. Man, sit your ass down, bro. Stop believing the news. Stop sitting around letting these people play on your field. Stop listening to everything you hear. Just because they say it's safe to go outside, man. Listen, man, they know niggas can't sit still. They watching you on Instagram. They see all the battles. They see all the entertainment y'all creating. They see everything y'all creating. So they say y'all eager. So we're going to let them get outside first and see if they die. And if they don't die, we're going to let Tom and, 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 and Paulette and all of them get outside. And, and we're going to open up the economy the right way. But niggas going to be the guinea pigs and the lab rats. First, we're going to test the hood. Because the hood don't care about they self. But you got to be wise, black man. You got to be wise, black woman. And see, I ain't pro-black or pro-white. I'm pro-truth. I'm for the truth. And I'm for whatever going to get my people to the next level. And we can't get to the next level if we dying because we listening to the devil. Please be advised, man. Do not fall for the oath. Sit your ass down and take a chill pill, bro. Sit down for a little bit. It's okay. It's going to be all right. Everything you going through right now is just for a season. Everything with a season come to a beginning and come to an end. The season you going through right now is a bad season. But that season going to come to an end and you going to walk right in your blessings. Just why are you sitting at home right now, man, and letting everybody else go outside and play because they can't sit down? Man, listen, man, work on yourself, man. Work on your improvement. Work on your marriage. Work on being a better father. Sit home, man. Work on, this is what you pay for every month. You can sit still. All them groceries you got in your refrigerator from the goddamn food stuff, eat just some goddamn ramen noodle soup, bro. Sit down because they trying to kill you. Because if it really wasn't serious, Las Vegas, Nevada losing money. He'll be the first one to open up. New York City losing money. Biggest city in the world. The biggest corporation in the world. They'll be done open up. California, Florida, yeah, Texas will be done open up. I'm talking about wide open. They opening up businesses where people touch each other. Gyms, you going to touch equipment that was last touched by somebody who had the coronavirus. You don't even know. You got to walk around everybody who might have that shit and look at them that you might have that shit for the rest of your life. You don't know who got that shit. We in a crisis and we ain't got nothing but the news to tell us advices. You can't trust them. You don't know behind closed doors what they negotiating when it come to your life, bruh.
but you around here talking about you want to listen to the news. You can't trust that, bro. You can't trust that. We don't know if this real or fake, but what I do know is these numbers they put on the right side every day and they closing down big corporations. Some got to be real about it. Sit home, bro. Sit still. Because they might just be trying to kill your dumb ass. And you jump out here outside. All you scribbles can't wait to get out here and get on somebody's pole. Could have been just touched by the coronavirus. You want to touch the pole, though. All these dope boys want to get out here and serve the fiend. Fiend the main one who got a crackhead walking around with a coronavirus, boy. Sit your ass down and chill. Send this to all your family members in the Georgia, in the Tennessee, or the South Carolina area. Let's warn the black people, man. We got to be wise. We the business.